Oh, I thought I was getting ready to do something there. Gosh. Popped off that rock. And came back. You know, just down there dragging this little Strike King Menace. Ooh, it's a nice one. You know, we're out here in Northern California today. You guys, I'm Cody Meyer, filming with TackleWarehouse.com. And it is finally starting to warm up. We're throwing this little Strike King Menace on this Strike King Tour Grade Tungsten Swinging Football Head. And let me tell you, this is one of my favorite little baits to fish. This is a fish catch and fool right here. And it's really cool. What this is, this little tungsten head is it's a free little swingy head. So you can put whatever hook on there you want. You know, say you're throwing a big bull worm by Strike King, all the way down to this menace. You can match the hook to the bait and you're gonna catch a lot of fish because of it, because it's such a natural technique. When that bait's dragging on the bottom, you know, or the, the head, the bait's gonna be swinging around, dancing, doing its thing. And you're gonna catch a lot of really good fish like that. You know, that fish came out of some deep water and I know there's some more down there. So stay tuned guys. Couple down there. See on the Garmin. See, you can drag this menace through them and catch them just like that. Just a little guy. Still fun though. Little Strike King menace. What's cool about that fish? I saw it down there on the on the Garmin and dropped this little tour grade tungsten swinging football head with the little Strike King menace down and. Got them. You know, because this is a little football head and it's a tungsten weight, that weight's gonna be a lot smaller. That's what I love about this little uh, tour grade tungsten swinging football head. And I prefer the tungsten just because, you know, when it's clicking and, t and hitting those rocks down there, it's gonna create a different sound. And I feel like you get a lot more bites because of it. You know, what I like to do with this menace, I have it rigged on a on a four-aught little worm hook by owner. I like to cast it out there, let it hit the bottom, and just slowly drag it on the bottom. And what that's gonna do is that hook's gonna come to life, really give that bait a lot of action. And uh, that seems the best way to me to fish this bait. You know, and a lot of guys throw this menace in this little football head where you're gonna throw a crankbait. So, you know, say maybe there's a little bit more brush or, or nasty rock on the bank, you can crank this thing have the same type of results, but it's gonna be weedless, which is really cool. And then like I said, you can put whatever bait you want on there and you can change your hook out with this head. There he is, saw that one on the graph. Drop that little menace down there. Not a big one, but it's pretty cool, you know, just kind of paying attention to the Garmin. Saw that fish. You know, we're throwing this little Strike King Menace right here. And uh, this thing has a ton of action when you start fishing this thing. You know, you can jig it off the bottom like you throw a football head. Today, right now, I'm just kind of dragging this around like you would, you know, drag a Carolina rig. And this thing is doing all the work itself because of the free swinging head here by Strike King. Not the biggest fish, but uh, we will take it. We're gonna catch some bigger ones. Today, it's all about the menace. You know, and as far as the, the rod and reel setup, this is the seven foot, three inch, multi-purpose Tatula Elite Rod, you know, here by Daiwa. This is a rod that Brent Aether designed, and it's, it's like, you know, with his name, the multi-purpose, it really is a multi-purpose rod. You know, this is something you can throw a variety of baits on, and uh, it's a perfect rod for this. As far as the reel, I love the Tatula SV TW. It's got the T-Wing system in there. It's got the SV spool. You know, you can cast this thing a country mile, and uh, that's gonna be key to fishing this little this little bait here. And as far as line, I like a little lighter line. This is a 12 pound um, Seaguar Tatsu. This is some really, really strong stuff. And I like a slower gear ratio for this presentation. This is a 6.3 reel. And I just, I like that slower retrieve just so when you're fishing it, you don't fish the bait too fast. It's gonna force you to slow down a little bit. So, you know, that is really key for me to fishing this and getting a lot more bites. There he is. Feels like a decent one. 
That yeah, was pretty cool. I, I looked down and saw that fish on the graph. Dropped this uh, little menace down and caught it. You know, this, this menace is it's like a pretty good one. Oh yeah. Menace is such an awesome bait. You know, not only can you use it for, for what we're doing today, but uh, you know, it's an awesome swim jig trailer, chatterbait trailer. Um, you know, I like to flip this thing when I'm down in Florida, like punching the heavy mats. And then also, I've used it a bunch the last couple of years, just flipping with like a quarter ounce weight. Uh, when the bite's really tough and fish are shallow, it works really good. So, you know, just an extremely versatile bait. We make a bunch of colors with Strike King. Uh, Strike King does with this little menace. And again, it's just a fish catching machine. So, you know, today we're throwing it on this little swing and tour grade tungsten football head, but you guys, there's tons of ways to throw this thing out and catch a lot of fish. There he is. Swing right at me. Gosh, this menace is so cool. Such an awesome bait. You know, especially right now, we're out fishing deep water, like I say, fishing some, some main lake. You know, right out in the mouth, there's a, there's a bay back here and a little marina behind us, and these fish are pulling out. It's winter time to these deep island tops. They're really focused on rock right now. A bad one. You know, it's cool. These are Florida strain largemouth in 30 feet of water that we're catching on this little Strike King Menace. Really, really cool. Not a giant one, but still fun. There he is. Look at that there. You know, today we're out here, we're fishing deep on the main lake. You know, these are, these are all isolated rock piles that I found with the Garmin. Let's see what we got here. It's coming up. Oh, it's a giant. Oh my gosh. This is why you throw the Strike King Menace. You know, this is an incredible bait. It's gonna get a lot of bites for you. Just one of many ways you could throw this, you know, this Tattoo the Elite Rod. I mean, this is this is something that's really cool for me. I, I like those those rods that you can pick it up and you can throw a variety of baits on. Look at the size of this one. Fish came out of about 30 feet of water. Oh, it's a beauty. That will do it. Look at that one right there. Big old healthy largemouth. Strike King Menace does it again and again. This little head, you can see right here, every time this bait shakes and moves, that thing's gonna dance, it's gonna you know, really showcase off whatever trailer you have on there, and this little menace is gonna get a lot of bites and it's gonna catch a lot of really, really big fish. So that's, that's about as good as you're gonna get right there. You guys, make sure you check out these great products at TackleWarehouse.com, and make sure you like, share, and tag a friend for your chance to win some great Daiwa and Strike King products.